what they normally do on the road. But only if you're very, very quiet, we'll find out what a basketballer gets up to in his own natural habitat. pretty healthy obviously the guys eat pretty well it's over to you guys <laughs> hmm, you know daddy loves you don't you oh hi boys and girls hi steve you know each week on hoops tv i get thousands and thousands of letters hundreds and hundreds of letters from 10 okay i've never gotten a letter from a kid okay but today i'm going to show you with jared and rika here what kind of work we have to do at the gym to be great basketball players you guys ready yeah. let's go have that fixed well yet? Freak is doing a squat. It's great for building up your legs and it's great for being able to dunk. It's too light for me though, I'm gonna do a heavyweight. Another great exercise is pull-ups. It's good for your arms and your back. Something's wrong with the bar. I'll get Jared to try it. Okay, Jared. You try. Ready? Pull up. Crossovers. They're great for your chest. And if you're like me, you want to do as much weight as you can. Okay, Rika, you give it a try. Oh. I suppose this is pretty good, Rika. I like to be more adventurous. Put on a lot of weight. Make your arms nice and long. Jared, what are you doing? I thought you would have learned your lesson from me today. Don't try to lift too much weight, okay? Anyway, I gotta go straight for the rollers. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, guys, time for your aerobic class. There goes Kim, your instructor. Am I the
Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Ah, yes. Now this should be a basketballer's life. Ah, and so comfortable, too. But don't you at home get too comfortable, because now it's time for Michelle Timms to show you a couple of helpful hints on how to improve your game. Thanks, Steve. Hey, kids, what's the one thing that us basketballers love to do? That's right, we love to shoot the hoops, don't we? So let's learn this week how we can put the ball in the hole. Now, we make sure we've got good body balance, and to do that, we have to make sure that our feet are nice and wide apart, with one foot slightly forward from the other. The foot that you put forward is, the same, is on the same side of the body as the hand that shoots the ball. Next thing, the most important thing here is knees. We have to make sure our knees are bent because they provide all the leg power to push the ball up towards the target. Third point, it's how you hold the ball. Now, a lot of you youngsters probably think that you shoot the ball with two hands, but in basketball, it's a one-handed shot. So we get down nice and low, knees bent, spread our fingers out nice and wide so it covers as much of the ball as possible. Our weak hand, this one over here, sits on the side of the ball just to balance and protect it, so it's like that. Okay, elbow, very important to have that pointing down towards the forward foot, the forward toe. Don't have it out here, you look like a little chicken about to take off. So make sure you have your wings tucked in, elbow pointing down towards the ground, head up on the target, then you're going to fully extend the arm and flick the wrist over in one smooth action. Okay, so it's here, let's put the ball down. You ready? Let's get, pretend we've got a ball in our hand. Eyes on your target, on the count of three, let's take a shot. One, two, three. Swish. Mine went in. How about yours? Tim's for the three. Tim's now. Was calling for it. Tim's instead. Excellent. Five seconds on the shot clock. It's important when you practice shooting basketball that you practice using your right and your left hand. Now I'm on the left hand side, so a little drill I like to do is get in nice and close, keep my eyes focused on the target, and take three or four shots in a row and then move to the right hand side. So let's see how I go. Down low, eyes on target, one, rebound. Down low, eyes on target, two. Down low, eyes on target, three. And last one, eyes on target, four. Come to the right side, right hand this time. Down low, eyes on target, swish. Down low, eyes on target, swish. Two to go. And one lucky last. There you go. So kids, when you're out in the court practicing, make sure you remember those important points. Footwork, knees, elbow, hand action, and nice big follow through. Thanks, Michelle. Now it's time for a hoops notice board. The Boomers begin their lead up to the Atlanta Olympics playing Missouri. Should be some great games in Cairns, Townsville, Canberra, Albury, and Bendigo. Go support the Boomers. Life Be In It basketball camps are being held in July at all these locations in Victoria. So if you'd like to join in, call 03-9568-1922 for more info. And in Sydney, there'll be a Flames Thins coaching clinic after the game. Only 100 places, so get to the game early and register. I'm in neighborhood street. Get a little nasty, take me to your home, take me to your home, baby. Please me, squeeze me, feed me, baby. I know how you feel, oh yeah, I feel the same way too. Ooh, what you gonna do? Yeah, as a free baby, didn't you know it? When I put on my hat, gonna make you want to blow it. That's right, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know, a life on the road for a basketballer isn't just funny games and food. Sometimes you gotta work out. Like on this machine over here. This is a leg machine, or I like to call it a dunking machine. Because once I worked out on this baby, I was dunking. Well, this machine over here, the running machine or the walking machine, this is for the bench warmers who didn't play a lot of minutes the night before. Now, I wouldn't know, because I never rode the bench. But the main question is, how do you stop this baby, huh? <laughs> It's time for Saturday Wrap. Hoop Scoops. Winners had Hoop Scoops this week. The Brisbane Bullets held their first home game. Amongst all these balloons is a trip to Bali. Hey, you doing? Also, Bali, good to get back to you. Hi. I didn't know you. She got to start. You're about to get about 9,000 friends. 
But in Sydney, on the line was a brand new Mitsubishi car. To win it all, all he had to do was hit a shot from half court. Yes! Show me that again. He's carrying the from half court. yes. Way to go. Firing more shots, and the Brisbane Bullets revealed their secret weapon, the team's new mascot. Well, they'll call him the Silver Bullet. Meanwhile, in Sydney, the Lion King roared. The challenge for the title of Macho Man. And then he bared all. To more serious matters, McHappy Day. Last weekend in Townsville, the Suns came out to serve. McHappy Day raised a record 780,000 around Australia for Variety Club. Well done, guys. Hot shots. Hot shots last weekend were three-point shots. Andrew Parkinson from the Magic had the hottest hand. Parky hit a personal best of eight three-pointers. three-point ball. Shooting at 67%, Parkey ended up the game with 30 points. Parkinson, another monster! Oh. The Perth Wildcats new recruit, Anthony Stewart, was the man behind the three-point line on Saturday night. Anthony hit seven three-pointers. Three points. See Stewart still hot. Also a personal best and had a total score of 29 points. But we can't overlook the dynamic duo, Gaze and Copeland, when it comes to hot shots. Andrew was the scoring machine, totaling 39 points. He's already averaging 32.8 points a game. Gaze, Ali, you to Three. And Andrew's partner in crime, Bernard Copeland, was not far behind, scoring 32 points. Copeland glides, shoots. This week's hot shots. Now, milestones this week. Brisbane Bullet Wayne the Dog Larkins will play his 300th NBL game tonight. Welcome to the 300 Club, Wayne. Tony Ronaldson from the Magic hit his 2,000th NBL point on Thursday night against the Hobart Devils. To birthdays, happy birthday to Mark Brandon from Illawarra. He turns 20 today. Brad Williams from the Sydney Kings also turns 20. Chris Blakemore from Adelaide turns 20 next Wednesday. And on Thursday, Jared Leonard from Geelong turns 17. Also, congratulations to Rob Rose and his wife, Patricia, on the birth of their first child, Nicholas. Congratulations, guys. Even if, if, even if we go back again, it would be, it would be the whole about Devils because I uh, scored 51 on it. My favorite move is going inside, uh, back to the basket. And I'll fade away. And white men can't jump when uh, when Wesley and, and the other guy was on the playground just going to work. Oh no, that's the move! Right now, Sean Kemp, football, NFL. I couldn't believe it. He just stepped straight up and shot it up, went straight in. Oh, you should have seen it. Oh, you just did. Anyway, I got the man right here, the man with the car, the man of the hour, Gary Japrazian. Let's check him out. Oh, Gary, how did you do it? How did you get to be the man to shoot the shot? Well, I entered the coupon from the Monday paper. Well, were you nervous when you came out there, when, when it was your turn to walk out at halftime? There's 10,000 people, and you're in center court. Were you nervous? Oh, uh, I wasn't real nervous, but um, it was uh, kind of an anticipation that I was going to go and shoot the halfway shot. After you let it go, did you did you think, man, that's going in? Well, uh, when I let go, I didn't have much of a clue, but when it started going down on the descent, I knew it was going to go in because it was just spinning and it was just going straight down. What was the first thing you thought when you hit the shot? Going, oh my God, how did I get it in? Think you can do it again? I'll give it a go. All right, let's check out that technique. Let's shoot this one. All right. Oh, man, bad luck. I wasn't going to give you another car anyway. Yeah, it's all right. No oh. worries. Well, I already won one. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show. It's all right, Steve. OK. You think I could borrow the car next week? A lap of honor for you. Come on, Sydney.
Well, that was fun. We got to eat, got to work out, got to hang by the pool a little bit. And thanks to Scott and Chris for letting us see what life's really like on the road for a basketball player. If there's anybody you'd like us to interview, all you got to do is write me at Hoops TV, and we'll get it done for you. But in the meantime, thank you. Another tough episode of Hoops TV. I'll see you next week. Next week on Hoops TV, I'm joined by neighbor star Kim Valentine. That's it, you stay up. You go crazy. So be watching next Saturday, 8.30 for me, Hoops TV and Kim Valentine.